This is a Qbrain 4-in-1 ESC, and there's four 25-amp ESCs. Um, if you go to the electronics, the box quad electronics video, we're using an Emacs 4-in-1 in, in uh, that video. Now, what we're starting to do, and because of availability, uh, you know, in any particular month, um, we're introducing the Qbrain, so we'll have two different ESCs that we can use with our box quad. So, when you're uh, looking at the uh, box quad um, electronics video, which uh, shows the uh, Emacs, uh, whenever you um, are using uh, the Keybrain, just in that section, you'll insert this video here for that. So, very simple to do, um, works real well. The differences in the two ESCs, they install the same, uh, they uh, function the same, if you go through the video, the Emacs, the wires, you actually have to put them into the ESC for each wire. This one, it comes pre-connected, so you don't have to do any of that. So when you pull it out of package, you're going to get just like this, wires already installed. Now what you will have to do, as you had to in the other, is install your battery plug. I'm using an HT60 on mine, uh, you may use that or you may use another, whichever one you're using, you know, you'll have to solder this on. And, you know, of course, make sure that your polarity is correct, you know, are you positive and negative or your uh, positive and ground, and that it matches your battery connection. Okay? So what we did, we used four uh, little um, double-sided tape pieces and we're using a half by half now and you just put one on each corner and you peel the other side off the paper and you know you just stick it on like we did on the last one. Uh, a real easy way to get your center you know of course is just go cross cross and make your mark. When you have your um, ESC just kind of slide it up you know, align it with the mark here, slide it down, and it'll get you pretty good, you know, distance this way and this way. You'll see these two capacitors here. If you put it pretty much in line with this hole, um, you know, it puts you pretty much where you need to be this way. And as far as this way, again, you can make sure of the X you put on there, or you can just, you know, measure each side and do it that way too. And lightly put it down, make your final adjustments, make sure it's, you know, um, straight this way, and then push it down and it'll lock it in real good. They work really, really well. You can still get it off, you'll pull a little bit of paper off, but if you had to put it back on after that, no one would know the difference. So you can pry it off and uh, take it off and put it back on. Okay? We're gonna go ahead now and start putting the wires through. This is the front of the uh, quad. This is the back, back, front. So the front of the quad, this is motor number one, motor number two, motor number three, motor number four. And the way we know that is that, you know, the controller is gonna dictate, you know, which motor, the sequence of the motors, rather. So, uh, we're using two different controllers now. One is a KK2.15 and the other is a CC3D. Both of those controllers, front of the quad, motor number one, two, three, four. So, if you're using a, a, a different controller, you just want to make sure of the motor order, okay? And when you're setting up the controller, you'll definitely find that out. Okay? So, motor number one. Just hold on to that one. And that way you'll know this is motor number one. And let's go ahead and put these wires through.
Okay, and I'm doing each one separately and you know one at a time because you'll find that this really is going to keep you out of trouble. If you get these mixed up, you, it's not going to fly right at all. Usually it's a quick flip. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and hook these wires to it or plug them in. Uh, we're going to check rotation later after we get the controller installed and that's further down in the video. And when we get to that point, you know, you switch any two of these wires. And so it would be these two you'd switch, or these two you switch, or these two you switch. Any two will change the rotation. We'll get to that later. Motor number two. Remember, this is the front motor number two. We want that on this side of the ESC. And the reason we do that is real easy whenever you're working with this. You can turn it over and tell which one goes where. Okay. I'm going to try to halfway organize these and we'll finish that up toward the end and I call that wire management where we'll make everything look nice. And I usually do that toward the end of the uh, build. It'll just take a few minutes to do that. Okay. We're going to go ahead and put this one in. And this is, we're going to go ahead and put those through that hole. And we'll connect this motor. Motor number three. Motor number three. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to keep this ESC on that side. And we're going to put those motors through, or wires through. connect these now just remember if you're you know when you're, you're into the video the electronics um, video the box quad electronics build video um, if you're using this uh, QBrain ESC just um, you can look at you know go over that one it's very good they're both uh, you know basically the same okay this is motor number four we're going to keep that on that side of the ESC. And if you ever have to look at this real quick, you know, you'll see where this comes in. You know, if this one was going here and that one was going there, it just, this is a lot easier. Okay. And let's go ahead and... these wires and this is going to motor number four okay the wires are tied in are connected and that's for motor number four now what we're going to do next is, and like I said, we'll go ahead and clean these up after a while. You know, make them look nice and neat. And I do that again right at the end of the video. Okay. This, your battery connector, I'm going to, it goes through here. Now you can enlarge this if you want to. You can, you know, just use a knife and enlarge it. I try to keep it you know, tight enough to where, you know, it looks good. But again, you can do anything you want to. And you know what? Whatever you do with it, it's going to look good. So don't ever worry about that. 
So this will push through. You just got to, you know, kind of push on a little bit. And we'll do that. And you'll see by lining these two capacitors up with this, it puts it pretty much in line. Does a nice job. These are the control wires. Now these wires here are going to control each ESC, which in turn, you know, control the motor. So we're going to hook those up whenever we install the controller. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and set this up. So no matter which video you're watching, when you get to the control side or install the controller, you know, you'll go to the same place to see where they hook up. Okay. And again, we'll trim up the wiring later. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and I've already written this down, but we're going to double check this. Motor number one is going to ESC number four. No motor number one to ESC number four. I would go ahead and do that. You can write it down any place you want. I normally do it here because it's right here. It's easy to do. But you can, you know, put it anywhere that you want to. But you'll have to keep track of it. Motor number two is going to ESC number one. There. ESC number one. ESC number one. Motor number two. ESC number one. Motor number three is going to ESC number two. Three to ESC two. Motor number four is, and this is motor number four, is going to ESC three. Motor number four, ESC three. Good shape. That's going to come in handy a little bit, you know, in a little bit. So, we're going to get these wires ready, the, the control wires ready. And this particular wire, if you notice, there's three wires. We have a ground power that's going to be bringing from the ESC to the controller. is going to be powering it up. And we normally, or I normally put uh, the first motor on this. So, when we go to tie in the motor, this would be motor number one to make sure we have the right wire to see which wire we need. Let's go back to motor number one, which is ESC number four. Easy way to double check motor number one, ESC number four. We go to four here, that's the signal wire, S. Number four is brown. So we're going to, this is the wrong wire. We want the brown wire to go here to motor number one. So you can use a pen or you know the, a knife, the point of it to, there's tabs here, there's three tabs. You can go ahead and just flare up, you know, uh, pick up on the tab. So just put your knife, uh, the blade underneath or a pen underneath the tab, lift it up a little bit. And when you do, it will release it. Just keep an eye on how you took it out because there's one way that it goes in and only one way. So just take a look at it when you pull it out and put it back in the same way. You'll know because it'll click and it'll hold itself in there. If it doesn't click when you go to pull back on it to test it, it'll pull back out. So just double check that when you put it in. So we're looking again for motor number one is ESC number four. ESC number four, we're looking for the brown wire. So let's go here. And there's the brown. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to pull that off. And we're going to put the brown wire with the power wire. And we're doing that because we want motor number one to have the power. Terminal number one for the controller which is going to be for motor number one to the power. So 
Motor number one is going to ESC number four. ESC number four is brown. There you go. Now the other three are going to be motor number two, three, and four. When we get ready to do that, we can, let me put this in, there we go. When we get ready to do that, we'll go to, you know, motor number two. Motor number two will be ESC number one. ESC number one is going to be red. So if you're putting on motor number two, it would be red and then so on. Okay, easy to tell, very, very easy. Okay, now we're set up here for our controller. We have our power in. We have our ESC installed, super easy to do. We have our motors plugged in. We're gonna double check rotation later on when we do our controller. Let me close this knife. And we're done with the ESC. So this is the Q-Brain ESC, 4-in-1 ESC, and we'll see you in a bit.